introduce yourself. Yeah, um, I'm Ariana Blanik from Germany, 22 years old, and yeah, we are here in Phuket Bike Park. How long you stay in Phuket? Um, I stayed the last three years here, and this <laughs> year I stayed just for two months, just, so in January and April. Yeah, but next year I will stay longer, I think. When we will see you next time here? Of course, in April. <laughs> <laughs> Why, of course? Um, because I have to go in February to the World Championships in Argentina and then I do something at home in March and then I will come back in April for another training season and yeah. How long you spent on the water, usually per day? Oh my god, I have no idea. It depends on how I feel or yeah much engine I have so like five hours sometimes or maybe longer maybe shorter yeah <laughs> Ari please tell me a little bit about your friends uh, which, which friends <laughs> best friends where they stay in oh. Phuket or in Germany oh like my best friends I have a good friend in Germany but he worked a lot but when you have free time, we go like a lot of time uh, downhill or go snowboarding in the winter. But yeah, it's pretty hard because I travel a lot and he has to work when I'm in German. And, yeah. But my other friends are living on all the world, so yeah, it's pretty hard to see them. But when we see us, it's still fun. How are many countries you visited already? That's a good question. To know too. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you are in military now. You are a serviceman or what? What no, you um, I'm in the German army. Like uh, sp uh, I'm a sportsman for the German army. So they sponsor me, and I can do my sport like very good because uh, I can pay a lot of things and I can travel a lot of. Uh, countries so it's pretty good and it helps me a lot of course you're not also a wakeboarder you do boat riding right yeah i do boat riding like two years now because in germany we have not that much boat riders uh, they compete like in a big competition like uh, yeah, europe championship was last year good but like on the world championship i was like the only one from germany there was another girl she's like german but she's lived in uh, malaysia but yeah, i was like the only one from really germany who was competing uh where was it? argentina for the world championships yeah. your family is in wakeboard business right please tell a little bit about your home cable where it is and uh, what's the benefit of this place? Oh uh, yeah, my, my home cable is uh, of course in Germany. <laughs> it's like close to uh, Dresden. It's like uh, two hours now, or one and a half hour from Berlin away. So it's not that far. The little city where I live uh, calls uh, Wasau, and it's a pr pretty fun place there. Also, we have a lot of space. We can do like anything what we want. Uh, we have not that much obstacle, but we have like a still good, uh, yeah, I don't know how it goes, like, we are, we are a big family on the cable, like the Fat Phuket Wake Park family, like the same, and yeah. You are Phuket Wake Park, right? So, tell me about your dad, I know that he built these obstacles in your cable. Yeah, he's uh, building all the obstacles where we uh, have in my cable uh, because we have not that much money uh, for buy obstacles or this uh, because it's pretty expensive. Every everyone know obstacles not that cheap, but yeah, everyone wants obstacle and yeah, so we uh, do the obstacles on my cable by his. Uh, also here in Booker Wake Park we have a uh, planning obstacle, so oh, yeah. Oh, there they are, right? Yeah. Cool. Tell me, please, uh, can you do by yourself obstacle? Uh, I have some ideas, uh, but yeah, I'm 
too lazy sometimes to make it real, like on a PC or something like that. But yeah, when we have the money for it, uh, I think we do it and then you can see also like the first uh, big obstacle is like not so small like here. I think Wake Park is a little bit small but it's still okay. Now we have like ideas like the double or triple size of this obstacle. What is your best trick? Oh, that is a good question. I have no idea. Like, I think my favorite trick on inverts was like my double half cap, uh, and my best trick. Oh, I don't know. There's so many tricks. It's so hard to say what is your favorite or what is your best because you do like every round a different trick and you like all of these tricks. So it's pretty hard to say which one. What is wakeboarding for you? Uh, wakeboard for me is like life. So I wake up, I go to breakfast, lunch, dinner and yeah, after breakfast, after lunch I go on the water and yeah, just riding and chill of that or sometimes I meet friends, so wake part is for me like a normal life. Uh, why you decide to be a wakeboarder? Um, I came to wakeboard like my dad. Because he was like, uh, in his young times, he was like uh, on the classic stuff like barefoot or ski, something like that. Trick ski, yeah. Do you have girlfriend? I know that all the girls who are watching us wondering, Ariano's bloody girlfriend, who is she? No, I don't have a girlfriend yet. I'm single. <laughs> okay, girls, come to Phuket Way Park and maybe <laughs> today you will find Ariano Blanik free. And uh, your lifestyle, what is your lifestyle? Except wakeboarding, what usually you do? I know that you are good in bikes. Oh, like after wakeboard or when I have free time, I just like to go on my downhill bike. Or uh, when I have a motocross, I want to go also on a motocross, but I don't have. <laughs> no, um, I think like trampoline is also pretty cool. Or I start now in Germany like climbing, like boulder lounge, and it's also pretty fun. And it's also good for the arms and the muscle because you can still train it. And um, I don't know, skateboard sometimes. Yeah, I do a lot. Also, like in the winter times, of course, snowboard. Uh, what about uh, coaching? How long the children should spend on the water to learn their first trick? Only the simple one. Mm, no, just a simple one. It doesn't need too long. You just have to try maybe uh, a lot of times because not every trick works on the first one. Everybody know it. <laughs> But yeah, I think like for the just a simple trick, like maybe let's start with just kicker and then you do like a 180. You can do it like in one day easy. Or you can do also like other obstacles like table or fun box. It's not that hard. You just have to do it. Don't think uh, too much. When you think too much, then it's pretty hard to do something. Also like on big tricks uh, for me, uh, when you think too much, it's pretty hard to do it. What is your suggestion to young generation, those who just start wakeboarding and want to be the same like you, pro rider? Your advice uh, to just, be the best. Yeah, you have to try. Try everything and look what is your best uh, like spin or what is like your flip tricks or what can you do like really good so and then you have to train it and uh, it's it's like that just try everything thank you so much for your time and i hope to see you more often in phuket wake park sure see you <laughs> bye